Welcome back guys, this is Henry1502 Inc. I'm back. We are working with Code Academy continuing its JavaScript track and we are working with for loops. To be exact, we are in the section two practicing loops. And what loops are um loops are a way to to count numbers without having to log it out or document that right whatever you want to do it. Um without having to write it onto your console. So it does it automatically and it, it you pretty much need like two lines, quite honestly, to write a very basic loop. Oh well three lines actually, not two. So here's what I've got going on here. Um here's what Code Academy's got going on here actually. So what we want to do is we want to change this we want to change this to to make it start so to make it start by 8 um, and we want to count up to 120 and we want to count increment by 12 so one last time before I shut up forever and you guys have to watch my previous tutorial what we've got going on here is we're telling JavaScript that we're writing a for loop. We are creating a variable. We're assigning this variable um, i. So the vari we're basically calling this variable i. Variable i is equal to eight. Variable i does not go higher than 120. Variable i increments by 12. So console.log basically shows us what's going on with variable i. Submit the code and we get 8, 20, 32, 44, 56. So variable i is increasing by 12. For any of you who have half a brain, not to offend anyone out there, but it's very basic. A little kid should pick it up. So going on, moving on to the next section. Um, all we want to do here is we want to change variable i's value we're changing variable i and we're giving it a value of 10 variable i does not go higher than zero and variable i decreases in increments so what how we have this set up how can how can we decrease to zero if we already have a value of 10 well remember in my last tutorial where i told you guys that for loops aren't always count don't always count up they sometimes count down that is exactly what we are doing here instead of having the two plus signs it's as easy as writing two negative signs which means subtract down one so we're counting ten and it's basically going to count ten nine eight till it gets to zero and console.log pretty much shows us what is inside what's going on what's happening so we press it and it goes 10, 9, all the way down to 0 like I predicted. Moving on to the next lesson. For the next lesson, they want us to create our own loop, but they assign, they've given, they have given us, they have given, what kind of English is that? We have already been given um, values to input. So what I mean by that is, so for loop, let's say, I'm creating a variable called miles per hour. MPH, if you guys don't already know that, equals miles per hour. And we want to count down to zero by five. So what we want to do is set miles per hour equal to 100. And miles per hour um, down or equal to 100, 100, and miles per hour minus 5. And I know I have a ton of bugs right now, but I'll fix them later. So the way to fix this problem is quite honestly just do that. So I made a variable called miles per hour and it's set to 100 and it's decreasing which means it's slowing down every time it loops by 5 so after we 
loop it 20 times it should be down to zero okay so I made a mistake um I actually didn't pick it up until later in the video um what you want to do is get rid of the 100 and change these signs over originally I had put an equal sign but get rid of it it doesn't do you any good so save and submit and you get the right answer this is Henry 1502 Inc add like subscribe comment below I'm out